or sort of concept very sort of called sparring which is called drawing and when I say drawing I don't mean just whipping out a pencil and paper and drawing a sketch of someone and make, so they don't want to hit you anymore it's a, a concept of drawing them out so kind of uh, it's kind of more like baiting them or sort of kind of encouraging them to move in a certain sort of predictable pattern or particular direction so that you can uh, counter-attack in some way and usually it's more of a more devastating counter-attack because it can kind of catch them off balance a little bit more and you also have a bit more time to sort of preempt that counter-attack a lot of the time a counter-attack it actually has to be more reflexive and instinctive and it's more it's not usually as complex or impactful a lot of the time because of the short the, the minute sort of time frame window that you've got with any sort of movement like that but when you sort of manage to it's like you set this trap and you preemptively set this trap and they fall for it and they go into the trap and you, you have kind of more set of time in your mind beforehand so you can deliver a more devastating hit but so an example of drawing might be say you know you, you deliberately leave your guard a bit lower than usual so it exposes your face or another target area and you're kind of just baiting them in to, so that you, you're relying on them sort of seeing it and thinking okay you know he's left his face exposed I'm going to try and hit it now and so you're anticipating that sort of pattern of behavior from them and it allows you to sort of um, counter attack almost immediately as soon as you see them take the bait and go for that attack you can immediately come out with something else and then uh, you yeah, know another example what you're trying to pull them towards you trying to get them to overcommit uh, in a certain direction usually towards you so you can exploit that to your advantage so you know you might your footwork might be further slightly further back but you're lent forwards more so it kind of gives the impression that you're a bit closer than you really are kind of relying on your opponent not noticing the position of your feet so you know, it's a kind of more of a sparring tactic for people who are a little bit at higher level who kind of understand the basics of the strike and everything like that but so you could say perhaps moves it, it kind of give off the impression that you're a bit closer than you really are and then when you sort of bait them towards you and they commit to the attack you can move back really far way further really draw them in really cause them to commit in that direction and then use that to your advantage in some ways there's lots of different ways i won't go over like all the loads of different Variations, but the concept itself, like drawing, because that's essentially what it is, you're trying, sort of setting up a trap in advance, just sort of baiting the opponent into a certain pattern of movement. So draw them into it, you know, you sort of draw them into your, your leap if your head is, or certain like parts of your body exposed, and it just kind of acts as bait, draw them into that bait, and then you can get the trap, you can catch them out with something. That's a good sort of tactic for sparring. Um, apart from that, I will see you in the next video.